Good morning to the respected principal Kwan Vijay Lakshmi Barabai. Why, why do you think we are BJ Kwan Roshani Sachika Singh? Senior assistants, teachers, parents and my fellow friends. Well, before I get into my speech, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to give a brief introduction of myself. My name is Madhumita, daughter of Timurthy from the class 5 Harmony. It is indeed an honor to be given the chance to stand in front of you all. Today, I'm not going to talk about the environment, drugs, weather, education, politics, or even about worldwide issues. But I'm going to talk about you, 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 and all of you. So guess what? The title of my speech is Become an Activist. My fellow young people, ladies and gentlemen, firstly, I would like to sincerely thank you for considering becoming an activist with the goal of making this world a better place for all of us. Being a young person growing up in a rural part of this developing world, I have never liked to be called a leader of tomorrow. Well, yeah, many of our politicians have adopted this phrase, always calling the youth leaders of tomorrow. Are you one of the leaders of tomorrow? As for me, I strongly deny that I am a leader of today and tomorrow. To me, leadership is not a process, but a natural choice based on how well one is able to lead and influence. If we are to go back to records of well-documented past events, we have prominent figures like Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi, and Martin Luther King. To mention just a few who still stand as example of what an activist must be. They are the people who on our behalf took a stand or decide how the future of our world should look. Ladies and gentlemen, the people I have mentioned turned some stones and put in some precedents we still enjoy today. They were true activists with no corrupt minds at all. My fellow young people, changing this world is not a matter of carrying on shoulders weapons of mass destruction. It is not about looting public places, no. But it is about coming up with good initiatives and constructive ideas. Yes, constructive ideas. We are today living in a world which others created for us. We too can be partner to combat all these universal problems if we are to forget ourselves. Furthermore, we should stop thinking as individuals. We should always think globally and act locally. Yes, we can. The issue of global warming is for real. And we have already seen its devastating effects. Remember one thing. It is not too late to hold our hands together and create a better world for ourselves and the generation to come. If we are to move forward with our fight, our activism must be based on sharing knowledge, information, skills, time and resources. We need to pull up our sleeves and get geared for real action. The knowledge and skills we have acquired naturally, academically and through experiences should help us to shape this world into something we want to see as our own product. Ladies and gentlemen, let us fight with courage, hope, objectivity and unity. Fall seven times, that's okay. Stand up eight, that should be our motto. My fellow young people, let us take these universal adversities as our opportunities to show the world our best. As Nelson Mandela said, the greatest glory in living lives not in never failing, but rising every time we fail. Let darkness in this fight at last show us the stars. In conclusion, I believe that we are all geared to do something to positively change this world to what 
we want to see. Let us be the change we want to see. And the change will come for us. Thank you very much for your attention.